everybody this is Kathy from Cats Out Create and welcome back to our channel so today I am coming back on with another video a flower video um you guys are gonna get tired of me I guess I'm assuming so you guys saw that we just did this one with um this is gonna have glare so I do apologize with I'm gonna turn it to the side with this um paper punch or flower punch and it's from EK tools EK tools success so um, this is what it looks on this side okay and I just showed you guys a tutorial on how to make this one um, so I gifted Alicia this one okay um let me go ahead and hopefully it doesn't have any glare and there you go excuse the glare so anyways I ended up creating this flower with this tool Hopefully you guys can see. Ooh, sorry. Anyway, so I just wanted to come on and show you guys um, that it was possible to make it with this um, punch. So I already did these right here. And I have one, two, three, four, five, and I am going to have a sixth one. Um, so basically, um, as you guys seen, I used a um, foundation, foundation, foundation sponge. Oops tank twister anyways I like it because it doesn't sh uh, shift a lot and it actually does pretty well um, and it was the only thing I found <laughs> so I think I tried like towels and all that stuff and uh, that didn't work so and I also used my um, uh, score um, uh, what is a tool score tool um, oh my goodness, I'm so lost. I apologize, you guys. So basically, go around the petals here. Okay, and this is basically to break the fibers. That's what I call it. I don't know what it's really doing, but it's just making it smoother so it can actually get the shape of a petal. And there you go. So, let me go ahead and show you. Oh my goodness. So I actually did this tutorial earlier. Um, big failure. Oh my goodness. Um, I guess I'm tired already. I guess it's time for me to go to bed. So basically turn it around. Go and make sure you choose um, what you're going to use for your middle part. So um, all of these are going to come out a little different. Not two are going to be alike. I'm going to tell you that much. Um, these flowers, um, yeah, they, they basically come up um, as they, you know, as I'm creating them. It's not like um, they don't they don't all come out the same. Like I, I don't know if you guys saw my other video. Um, if you guys heard it. I don't know. So, anyways, ah, uh, I'm tired. I think it just got to me like all of a sudden. So, put some glue in here. Put some glue in here. Um, make sure you like, put this out. Basically, right there. So you are doing the middle part. Okay, so the middle part, I notice when you do it, the middle part like this, it's going to come out a lot higher. So you might have to cut this part off. Um, you might have to cut like, these two petals off. And do it just has to play with it. I do that, and then you roll it around. I usually say troll. I troll it around. Yeah, tongue twister. I don't even know how to talk. But yet again, sometimes when you're doing videos, you kind of like lose focus. You forget words. That happens to me a lot, and I'm sure it happens to a lot of you guys. So I've noticed that sometimes I, instead of saying butterfly or bird, I'm saying the other thing. Oh no, it's not even the same word. And I'm like, oops. And I know you guys catch it, but it's okay. I don't mind because we're, we all make mistakes. We're not perfect. Nobody is perfect. And I usually try to make my videos. I usually try to make, so I make this part and then I'm going to put... The other two that I had left over, I'm just going to put it in the middle of it, which is something I should have showed you. I just basically folded it, put it in the middle, and basically put glue on the bottom of this. 
And like I said, it's going to do what it's going to do. So I'm going to just fold it, put this in the middle. I do not close it completely. I just try to put it in the middle like that. Hopefully you guys can see. Hopefully I'm in frame. Oh my goodness. There you go. And I don't glue it all together because it actually, if you glue it all together, it's just going to be closed like that and it's not going to be a good picture. And then I cut some X, X's off. Should still be in there. Should still be okay. And then you have to have your other flowers and you just want to make sure when you are gluing these down, um, it's not, it's not like this, it's not together, there's, uh, has to be like a gap in here, because that's what it's gonna make the imperfection, sometimes, like I said, you have to play with it, you have to just like, move it around, do what you can to make it look beautiful, um, you, there's no set way, there's no like, just have to play with it. So you put a little bit of glue here on the bottom. Be careful with your fingers because you can burn yourself. I've done that plenty of times. And then make sure it's like this right here. And then the glue's in the middle. So yeah, you, it's a lot of finger trying and maybe some burning. And you put some glue in the side. And this should be right there to the side see how I hope you guys could see and you guys are gonna have a lot of glue at first unless you guys are expert on your uh, glue gun which I am not I am gonna be honest uh, I hardly use my glue gun so there you go and then right here I usually just play with it, like I said, you guys. I've been playing with it. I've, I'm not an expert on making these yet. I probably won't ever be an expert. But I try to work with it and see what works with for me. I actually made this, not this one. Where's the other one? I made this one earlier, and I don't like it. It is ugly. Ugh, it's terrible looking. I did not like it. I just did not like it. And you are going to have those projects where you are not going to be happy. There's going to be certain things that uh, you're just going to be like, oh my goodness, how did, why did it not come out the way I was thinking? It's because you're trying to hurry up the whole thing. You have to take your time with certain things. In reality, you do. Because if you hurry up and try to do something really fast, it's not going to come out the way you would like it. So like this one, I'm already seeing that. I am actually, it looks like I'm going to like it. So there you go, and you can actually put this one in here if you like, or you could put, it just depends, like I said, you have to work with it, you have to play with it. Um, let me see, you make sure that the petal is not like this because it's going to cover the whole thing, it's sideways, or you could see like a little gap in here. I'm just going to put that on the bottom for now. I really don't want to make it too, um, let me see. I might have to, just like on the bottom. That's like the whole thing because I try to put glue and it goes all the way up and that's what I am not looking or wanting. So just don't like on the corner. So this petal can go a little bit higher. Hopefully you guys could see that. Hopefully I'm making this video alright. If not, I am just going to give up and just going to go to sleep and do it tomorrow morning. And if it's a long video, you guys could just probably fast forward or if you guys don't want to see, that's fine. I don't mind. I'm just showing you different techniques, different ways, and it's up to you if you want to try them out. I am just showing you what's been working for me, what, uh, how, you know, not everything is perfect. We all struggle with certain projects, and it's just playing with the, the stuff here. And there you 
go with this one. It's a little bit better. Way better than this one. I was not happy. I was just not happy with this one. I just, it looks crappy to me. And spider webs, spider webs, or blue webs. And there you go. I am happy with this one. And on this one, you could either turn it this way a little bit if you want. Just depends. There you go. And I wanted to show you guys another trick. So, as you guys can see, I am using this one. And I've got some new cardstock. Sorry. And you can actually use it for your leaves down on the bottom. So you just have some leaves. So these are. You could actually use these for leaves on your other flowers if you like. And there you go. I have to, um, there you go. Might have to cut this part off because you don't really want it to show. There you go. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness, it actually came up. Oh, yay! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Sorry, guys. <laughs> I have to see. So, there you go, you guys. What do you guys think? And all like, all you have to do is just, you know, do some wig gastel on it or do some uh, glitter, diamond dust, or do whatever you like. Um, um, so, this one, look at you guys. Did you guys see these? These are made from this one right here. So this is awesome. I like it. And this is another one that is also actually made from this one. And all you do is layer these. And I'm going to do it really fast, hopefully. Basically, you pinch the petals. If you have nails. If not, you can use your tweezers and uh, just them to the side. So you guys can... And I'm trying to make this one fast. So that way this video is not too long, but it seems like it is still going to be long. And you twist it like that, and then you pinch it. So, show you another one. Just twist it and pinch it. Twist it and pinch it. And that's it. So there you go, there you go. Um, let me see, where is my glue? I see it there hiding. OMG. So I'm going to put a dab of glue in here. Oh, I'm going to put this one sideways. OMG. Really. Butterfingers. Butterfingers. There you go. And then you can put this one on the top. And you can continue pinching it and once you're done. Um, but I want to make this video a little shorter. I don't want to keep you guys longer than what you guys have to stay. And there you go. And all I did... Oh, it's not sticking. Great. And camera, it doesn't stick. Yay! There you go. And let me see. Let me use my fancy tool right here. And then I have this um, bead that I got from the 99 cent store, or the Dollar Tree actually. And then just put a little bit of glue on the side. And then place it there. And there you go. And then you just continue pinching wherever you feel like you need a pinch. And that is it, you guys. Hopefully you guys like my video. Um, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would like to have you on board. Um, so, subscribe. I would love to have you on here. Um, sorry if it was a long video. I just wanted to show you guys a different way. And take your time doing them. Don't do them too fast like you guys. This one came out crappy. I do not like it. Anyways, we'll see you guys in our next video. Thank you.